Hello guys, in this video I will be explaining sphere. Uh, for sphere we need to know what center is. You know the center is the middle point, right placed right in the middle. And radius is a length that can be drawn from center to the, any, any point on the sphere. And we also need to know what hemisphere is. And the half of the sphere is called hemisphere. And in some questions, you will see great circle. Great circle divides the sphere into two equal parts. So we can also say that great circle is the largest circle that can be drawn inside the sphere. And these are the things that you'll face when you solve questions. Um, uh, let's start our lesson with uh, explaining volume of sphere. Uh, volume of sphere is given by the formula uh, 4 over 3 pi r cubed. If the question asks about volume of hemisphere, then the sphere will be divided into two. So you divide the formula by two, it will be 2 over 3 pi r cubed. This is volume of sphere formula. That is volume of hemisphere formula divided by two. Let's take a look at some examples and guided practice part ex exercise two. Uh, find each measurement. The second question is asking about the volume of hemisphere. Let's, let's apply, apply the formula. Formula of volume of hemisphere is uh, two over three pi r cubed. So all you have to do is uh, replace your radius with 11 inch so in the question the figure is given in the figure radius is given by 11 inch so just plug it in to the formula 11 cubed so compute this result uh, the number that you will find when you compute is 2000 to 600 2,662 pi over 3. What's my unit? My unit is given as inch. Since I'm cubing the radius, I'm cubing the unit as well. So it's inch cubed. This is pretty easy, right? You just apply the formula. Substitute what's given. In the second, in the third question, the volume of sphere is asked. So, what is volume of sphere? Volume of sphere formula is four over three pi r cubed. So, in place of r, we are going to write the given radius in the question as one meter. So, four over three pi one meter cubed. One meter cubed so the answer becomes 4 over 3 pi meter cubed these are such an easy question you know, such easy questions question 4 the, in the next question the uh, unknown part is not the volume the radius is unknown so we are going to do the opposite we are given the volume as 288 pi centimeter cubed and we don't know radius but we know volume formula as in the circle questions we are going to use the given to find the unknown what's given volume given what's the formula for volume 4 over 3 pi r cubed so all we have to do is equalize the volume formula 4 over 3 pi r cubed to the given volume in the question 288 pi centimeter cubed so now i need radius so i have to isolate r i need r by itself so let's get rid of the number that's multiplied by r cubed 4 over 3 pi how do you get rid of it by multiplying both sides by by multiplying both sides by 3 over 4 pi 3 over 4 pi 
you would isolate R. Multiply both sides by 3 over 4 pi. 3's will cancel. 4 pi's will cancel each other. You will left with R cubed on the left. R cubed equals what you have on the right. Pi's will cancel each other. Multiply 288 by 3 and divide by 4. Your R cubed will be uh, 216. So how do you isolate R? Still R is not alone. It has cube. Is in R squared. If there is R squared, you square root both sides to get R. And now here, instead of square root, you're going to use cubic roots. So take cubic root of both sides to get R by itself. Just type your calculator cubic root of r so 3 and the uh, radical will go r will be alone the cubic root of 216 will be 6 what's my unit my unit is centimeter so this is our answer 6 centimeter is the radius um, you may be asked about diameter in this case you would multiply the result by 2 so these are the types of questions that you may face in volume part. So there's another aspect that we need to study, that we need to know about this section. We have surface area. Um, the surface area is the area that's on the outside of the sphere, uh, which is known as surface area. So the surface area formula is given by 4 pi r squared. So as in the volume, you just have to apply the formula, substitute the given into the formula. You'll get your answer easily. Topic is easy. So let's start solving questions. Guided practice, question six. Uh, find each measurement, find the surface area of sphere for question 6. Question 6, the diameter is given here as 16. What do I need? I need radius because surface area formula is 4 pi r squared. So how do I find radius? You know how to find radius is half of a diameter. So divide diameter by 2. So your radius is 8. The unit is yard. 8 yard. So in place of r, you're going to write 8. So 4 pi r squared equals 4 pi multiplied by 8 squared. So 4 pi multiplied by 64 will make 256. And don't forget to put pi to 256 pi. And your unit is yard. You are squaring the radius. So you should square the unit as well. So 256 pi yard squared. What about the second seventh question? The exercise seven is asking about the surface area. When, what's given? When the great... Um, circle is given remember what great circle is great circle divides the sphere into two parts in other words it's the largest circle that can be drawn inside in a sum this is circle area of circle is given area of circle is given as 49 pi centimeters squared we studied circles before you know area of circle now formula the formula of area of circle is pi r squared. So equalize the formula to the given. 49 pi. You have pi's in either side. Divide both sides by pi. Pi's will cancel each other. And 
and you left with r squared so r squared equals 49 you need r alone as always square root both sides you'll get plus and minus 7 since it's radius it's always plus so your radius is 7 centimeters what do i need i don't need radius only i need its surface area so this is not the answer this is the key to unlock the answer so now apply the formula of surface area surface area formula is given by 4 pi r squared 4 pi r squared in place of r we are going to write 7 so 4 pi 7 squared so multiply them all the result becomes 196 196 pi what's my unit my unit is centimeter its area so centimeter squared um another type of question you may face the first type the radius or diameter is given you find surface area second type Great circle is given, you find surface area. Third type, surface area is given, you find volume. Or volume is given, you find surface area. So those are the types that you may face in exams. So the volume is unknown. Surface area is known. Remember questions about circle. We had such questions there. We were given surf we were given area circumference, we were finding area, or we were given area, we were uh, finding sur circumference. So it's the same idea. By using the given, you'll find the unknown. What's the unknown? Volume. What's the formula for volume? 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So what do I need to find the volume? What I need here is radius radius is unknown if i know what radius is i can solve this question so by using surface area you'll find the radius what's the formula for surface area the formula of surface area is 4 pi r squared so all we have to do is equalize the formula to the given the given is 6724 pi feet squared you need r alone so divide both sides by uh, 4 pi so 4 pi will cancel r squared becomes pi will cancel on the right r squared becomes 1681 centimeter so take square root of both sides you need r alone so R is equal to 41 centimeter. So we got our radius. Now it's time to find our volume. You know what to do. Now you just plug this back into the volume formula. Here is the volume. So volume equals 4 over 3 pi multiplied by r cubed which is 41 cubed so now compute this it's gonna be really big number so the number that you'll find as fraction is 275,684 pi over 3 what's my unit my unit is given as feet so it is feet cubed i'm cubing the radius because the formula is r cubed so i'm cubing the unit here i wrote centimeter let me correct the units here it wasn't centimeter it was feet it depends on what's given in the question and the question is given as feet so this big number is the answer so those are the types of questions that you may face in area uh, surface area and volume there is one more topic that we need to study in this section 
it is exploring effects of changing dimensions. So, um, the, the questions will ask us to describe the effect when we change the radius. So, for surface area and for volume. For surface area, remember what the uh, formula is. The surface area formula is 4 pi r squared. So, what will affect the surface area? 4 is a constant number, pi is a constant number, only r is changing. So by changing r, our surface area will change. Similarly, for volume, the volume formula is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So 4 over 3 and pi are constants, only r is changing. By changing r, our volume will change. So let's talk about how does the surface area change and how does the volume change. So let's suppose the dimensions are doubled. So when you multiply uh, radius by 2, instead of r, if you take uh, 2r, what happens? 4 pi multiplied by 2r squared. How will the result change? 4 pi will stay same. r squared will stay same. You square 2 as well. It's 2 pi, 4 pi r squared multiplied by 2 squared is 4. So your result will change multiplied by 4. 4 multiplied by 4 pi r squared. So this is the original result, 4 pi r squared. 4 multiplied by 4 pi r squared is the second result. So how does the surface area change here? The surface area is multiplied by 4, 2 squared. So you can say that, you can say that if radius is doubled, surface area is multiplied by 2 squared. Since there is square here on R, we are squaring it. If radius is tripled, what happens to surface area? Surface area will be multiplied by 3 squared. Let's change the change. If surface area is, let's say, uh, multiplied by 1 over 2, then surface area reduces multiplied by 1 over 2. Surface area will be multiplied by 1 over 2 squared. So in order to figure out the change in surface area, uh, you will square the change of the radius. This is how you would find the answers. Similarly, in volume, you do the similar steps. In order to find the change in radius, this time on the volume, this time you are going to cube the change in radius. For example, if, if R is doubled, volume will be multiplied by 2 cubed here in area you are squaring in volume you are cubing if r is tripled volume will be multiplied by 3 cubed if radius is let's say multiplied by 1 over 2 volume will be multiplied by 1 over 2 cubed so all you have to do is take the change and cube it. So what is the question here? In 10, it's multiplied by 1 over 4. If radius is multiplied by 1 over 4, multiplied by 1 over 4, the volume will be multiplied by 1 over 4 cubed. So this is your answer. Answer to this question is, answer to question 10 is, um, Volume is, question 10, volume is multiplied by, multiplied by 1 over 4 cubed. What is 1 over 4 cubed? 1 over 64. This is your answer. For question 9, what was the answer for question 9? Uh, surface area is multiplied by 
Radius was doubled. Surface area is multiplied by 2 squared. What is 2 squared? 4. So this is how you answer these type of questions. You don't care about what your radius is, what your diameter is. They don't change the result. What changes the result is the effect. Here, in question 9, the radius is doubled. So the surface area will be multiplied by 2 squared. Here in question 10, the radius is multiplied by 1 over 4. So volume will be multiplied by 1 over 4 cubed. So you can answer like this.